Now, anyone that know Master P, Master P has been around for a long time. Master P is a self-made man. He was out there doing his music, made the right music deals. He got into doing movies. You know, he got into a little of everything. Now, Master P is getting into the ramen noodle game. Now, he has a company called Rap Snacks. And I've seen those particular brand, the potato chips, wrap snacks. So he had made that particular company, his game, massive popularity and sales off of the potato chips and popcorn to have pictures of rappers on it. Okay. So Monday, Master P had released an Instagram video talking about his rap news as well as the flavor cream chicken gumbo. And in the caption, he had the noodles can be cooked either on the stove or in the microwave. Let's roll that short clip. So if you want a real meal, That's delicious. I know about noodles. I grew up on noodles. I'm not creating my own brand. It's nothing like this. See this? The Icon brand. Chicken and gumbo. Real New Orleans flavor. I used to go, uh, the 99. Now I'm going, uh, delicious. If you ain't eating wrap noodles, then you shouldn't be eating noodles. Cause this is the best of the best noodles. Mm -hmm. Those other noodle companies have nothing on us. We rap noodles. We the King Kong of noodles. <laughs> so Master P came out and say, I know about noodles. He said, I grew up on noodles and I create my own brand. It's nothing like this. He said, the real New Orleans flavor, he added, if it ain't rap, eating rap noodles and you shouldn't be eating noodles because it's the best of the best noodles. Now, he said the other noodle companies have nothing on us and we the King Kong of noodles. Now, I think that is smart. I'm going to tell you why it's smart. I remember growing up, everybody would eat ramen noodles. That is a thing, you know, definitely from my neighborhood for sure and many other black people's neighborhoods. It was cheap. You can buy it in mass quantity. Shoot, anybody that know about making a spread, you already know spreads was the truth back in the day. Now, we should not be eating ramen noodles, and I don't know what he's putting in his, per se. I hope he will be putting better ingredients and not all the MSG and all kind of things that they use to make ramen noodles. But I remember to eat ramen noodles, man. Still to this day, I can throw down on the ramen noodles, man. I can throw down. I can put in that. You can do shrimp in that sausage. You know, definitely got to put your cheese. You know, you can put all kind of things in, in your ramen noodles, man. Make a spread. And, and I remember I used to go buy them big boxes of ramen noodles. I mean, the, the whole big box. I go there, bro, buy a whole huge box, spend by five dollars. And I and I I knew how to I make them real good, man. I usually put uh hot Cheetos in my ramen noodles. So I cut and put put the sausage in there, and then I, I would put uh I wait till it's cooked good, and then right before I eat it, I, I crush up them um them flaming hot Cheetos, mix it up in there, and tear that up, man. But you know I would even dare do that today. Wouldn't dare. There was so much freaking salt that I was eating. Like I say, MSG. Uh, uh, chemicals they put in that mess. Didn't know this is oblivious to what I was eating, but it was good. It was good back in the day. It was good. It was so good. So I I, I used to eat that for lunch when I uh, on jobs I would work. So ramen noodles it, it was the thing that way. If you broke, get you a thing of ramen noodles. So I hope Master P. I'm gonna check into his ramen noodles myself to see what's in it. But hopefully he's making it better. But shout out to him for stepping into that lane because, you know, I always say this as, you know, black people, if we learn to monetize what we already do, because see other communities come into our community and monetize our community, we need to do it. So we eat ramen noodles. We should be owning that. If we wear certain kind of shoes, we need to develop that. If we, you know, like our hair a certain way, or we do, you know, the, the nail situation, I've been saying that, that the nails need to be monetized in the, in the community, you know, that's going a little bit more political. But what I'm saying is we need to own everything that we consume. And Master P is taking the right step with that. Is that something that we have consumed for years? Now he has created a brand. So shout out to Master P, man. You know, I, I, I get a lot of game from Master P. 
You know, the other day I saw a video from him. He was talking about, you know, the only reason he grew because of his team, because you got to put the right people around you to help you grow. You cannot grow as anything by yourself. And, and that is the God's honest truth. You know, even the little growth that we have so far is because of the people we have around. So I have to keep adding people, you know, to the team so we can get bigger and better and do different things. So, you know, definitely Mass P have given us a lot of game, man. Any kind of entrepreneur type of advice. So, you know, you want to check out his, you know, wrap snacks, his ramen noodles, check it out. If you go to a local store near you or look it up online, maybe you can order it. But leave me a comment, let me know think about Master P and his new brand of ramen noodles. And are you interested in trying it? Because I'm going to look it up. I definitely want to see how it tastes.